Good day people, we have an exciting trading opportunity in gold and silver. We are going to analyze it and uh, see how the forecast is going to go. Uh, tomorrow, is, that is today's date, uh, August 8th, is uh, is going to be an exciting day for gold. So it's, it's not a long-term frame analysis. Uh, actually, it is in long-term frame and long-term long time frame analysis as well as short time frame analysis as well. First of all, have a look at a four hourly time frame and then you can see my labeling uh, using Elliott wave analysis. Um, first of all, the larger pattern that we have got is we are expecting a five wave structure right from this bottom, wave one and two and three. And I believe we are going through a triangle right now, wave four, which is, and then we are going through wave five and we're gonna go, go see wave five. Wave five might not be as strong as we have indicated over here. Anyway, we are going to discuss that later. First, we need to look into the triangle. We have five waves in the triangle, where wave A, wave B, wave C, wave D, and wave E itself is a clearly flatter action, flat correction. However, that flat correction is yet not over. We thought initially that it was over, but the recent price action has shown that no, it's not over. So in order to look at it, we have to look at the hourly time frame. Now the hourly time frame is going to show us some interesting, if it updates, let me see. <laughs> looks like my internet is slow so the hourly time frame is going to show us some interesting uh, pattern and we're going to look at it it's basically a three wave structure right over here and a three wave structure right over here so we are expecting a five wave structure right from the top let me see it so we can easily label it and initially as i said i thought the structure was over and the jump up but no it does not seem to be over so this is an a b c structure and i'm expecting a low a bit more deeper um, than i initially thought so what we look at our 15 minute chart once again and you want to look at the recent price behavior the recent price behavior has been you can see is basically staying within the range of this wave so this is an indication of a side wave behavior we can easily see a wave four okay so wave four we are seeing right over here and now this structure is very clear the structure clearly indicates if this price actually goes beyond this top in that case we completely break the structure in that case we have to think something else in that case analysis is wrong so we have very short uh, stop loss point which is 2406 right now 2407 so we are about 12 dollars away from our uh, stop loss point i can i'm going to go short right over here and my once again, my price target is a bit low right over here. Given that I have seen wave one of this size, so let me see if we can actually do of a similar size. So here is the thing. So let's say assume that we are gonna say somewhere around of that size, okay? That give me, I would say in this lower end, somewhere around 23, uh, 50 is still a good range if you do not want to miss out the reversal. So I'm expecting a bearish day um, on uh, August 8 and that will be the last move and then once the last move is complete that will be completing the pattern. So what we can do right over here is that we can actually start uh, the short position. Okay, so the short position and right now we can actually go Okay this is our short position we are putting a stop loss right over here on the top and we can see that our long our take profit is somewhere around uh, right over here 23.50 okay that gives us how much where is the uh, so open profit and loss it seems the condition is running i want to see okay risk to reward ratio is 4 ratio 8 4.8 so which is almost five one ratio five is our risk to reward ratio which is not bad given that we are going to see it done in a period in a small period of time so let's have a look at the larger time frame and i wanted to uh, pay uh, bring your attention to it once we come closer to somewhere over here we might want to see a reversal reaction uh, before we can go long so at that point i'll take a close and then i'll wait a bit and see how the price action behaves yes if you see a reversal a little lower as well that will still be an indication that we are going to go long so we have uh, quite an interesting day ahead of us let's have a look at silver and i want to see if we can see a similar behavior in silver 
So silver is also expected to be bearish. Let me have a look on a smaller time frame. Uh, here's the smaller time frame. So once again, uh, our previous so which is the previous structure is the 5 wave structure I'm considering and then we have a 3 wave structure started from this bottom which is, this is wave A and this is wave B and we are considering a 5 wave structure on the downside so I believe we have seen wave 1 and 2 already and we have seen 3 and 4 as well so 1, 2, uh, one, two and 3 and 4 is already so we're expecting a bearish move on the downside so let's see how it goes <coughs> let me have a look this structure is a bit puzzling me. On the first, it clearly looks like tri the triangle, but the price has dropped and jumped up again. So this is a bit of concern. So we can simply use the previous top, which is 27.30, to go short. All right, and it's not silver. Let's see how deep the silver goes. Uh, I have no uh, price target for silver. Reason is because we are uh, close to very important low right over here. This one right over here. So we can consider this as a low right now. We have also previous range which I've discussed in previous video as well. We can take our potential target from that too. Let me go back on a daily time frame and we can uh, look at the pre uh, previous range uh, which is the bottom over here all the way to the top. So I'm going to divide it into nine equal sections. Um, as I said earlier, the silver often respects uh, one by nine sections. So here we have division the range from the bottom to our nine equal uh, divisions and that this brings us our uh, how much it is five by nine and this is six by nine so uh they could could this push further come down six by nine i doubt it but five by nine is uh, where i'm expecting that we can see our support at which is at 25 uh, 98 26 dollars at the port so right it's 25.93 is our um, target potential target for silver now the important point here is that this target that we are looking at it is going to be an important uh, target an important point to go long all right uh, we are at the after this point we are expecting the price jump back to the top right over here okay which is 32 50 dollars 32 dollar and 50 cents so quite an important swing uh, from the bottom of 26 dollars to 32 50 is about six dollar and 50 cents uh, in a short amount of time so you gotta not on you gotta pay attention not on today's uh, short trade but you also get get ready on the long side as well so we have interesting uh, time ahead of us let's see how things go wish you good luck with your trading please make sure that you are using sound financial uh, management uh, methods uh, not to blow up your account or put more of your money in just one trade um, be a judge up for yourself make a decision for yourself wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye